to see you turn this water into wine. Hi guys, welcome to Excel Vlogs. It's another time to share in God's word and share my walk with Jesus. And today I'll be sharing about words. Um, words, not just words, but words that are spoken into our lives and we just put them into our subconscious like we are not consciously conscious of it <laughs> yeah something like that we are not conscious that these words are you know doing something else so we just allow them and passively react to them so that's what i'm going to be talking about and i'm going to be sharing a personal story and i hope you get blessed by it let's get right okay so um i was in my second year of secondary school that's a uh, lot years ago Jesus <laughs> okay that's like 10 or more years ago so I was in my second year of secondary school and I and my sister were schooling in the same place but we were not in the same hostel so I used to go to her room a lot of times to just um, say hi and enjoy and just relax away from my room and my hostel and there was this person in her room that was so friendly like just so full of energy so friendly and everything and do you know this thing in secondary school i don't know if you know but it's typical nigerian secondary schools or generally there are just some people you call your daughter some people you call them your grandchild i don't know we just used to do a lot of those things in my school chat so this female had there was this other girl that she's called her daughter and that girl had a brother in my school she was in my class and she's called that one her grandson I don't even understand that family then but anyway so as I come into the room and she would tease me and say um this is this and it started with she asked me one day and she was like oh do you remember this boy in your class and I'm like um I was being genuine because I wasn't so much of a talker or a friendly person in my first year so I, I really I, I think I knew him but I never spoken to him before so I was like um okay yeah no 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 and then that was the day the teasing began and every time I come to the room he would tease me about it tease me and tease me and tease me okay um this boy and um, um this boy likes not like say this um you guys fit you guys look good together and all of those things and my sister said please leave my sister alone and i would say please just you know and every time i come to the room um they would tease me along with the other roommates like everybody joined in and soon became hostile just uh, this 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 and like that now i really really genuinely <laughs> genuinely didn't really know much about this person so i was cool i was like who is this person they're always saying this is about so i decided that i was going to you know check out this person and find out who this person really is okay so <laughs> so i um started you know make sense person i'm like okay he's he looks good he's tall what did i even know about being tall being an actual <laughs> okay so i was like okay he's he looks good actually and now i was the most unlikely person to get a boyfriend in secondary school because i was so uninterested in it and even if maybe one of my friends came on and stopped being my friend if you know you're going to have a boyfriend i felt quite disrespectful why would a boy that's like 11 along with me come and tell me he loves me he cannot love me he doesn't know what love is i was that kind of child so I was not trying to get together with this person. I just wanted to know who it was that looked good with me, honestly. And so I think that was where the devil put me. Like, oh well, um, it's nothing, it's not a big deal and everything. And the thing was, every time I came to the room, they would tease me about it. And even though I wasn't interested, it was actually setting in my subconscious that, okay, this person looks good with you. Okay, it's been nice to get together with this person all oh, this and that and that and that and it was like we're building the foundations oh, it was like they were laying the foundation of the building and then they started yielding and every time they said it they put another brick on it and every time they said it they put another brick on it and i was not wise enough to um actively not accept what they were saying so i just passively you know stop it i don't like it all this kind of stuff and I discovered that 
along the line the time had passed and I noticed that oh my god I intensely like this person I was weird because this was somebody I did not even notice in class and now I like the person intensely it was very serious okay so the height the height of any culture you're ever going to have in secondary school is when you start praying for the person oh my god Said, pray for this person. I would pray that God would get married because I was not interested in dating with him right now. So I was like, God, thank you because we'll get married. Thank you for the beautiful children we have. I left my important prayer points to be praying something like this. And what I want to say is that everything came from passive words. In fact, they were, they were complete jokes because this was the scene that if I um, ever went to her, I'm like, Okay, um, this is my work. She'll be like, what are you talking about? Boy, what? Come on, do you understand? So it was a complete joke, not intended to yield any fruits. But yet, I think he yielded a tree because it was so hard to get over this person. And I kept telling God, God, I don't, I don't know how I got here. Like, how do I like this person? How? But it was gradual. It was from passive words, passive words, passive words. What are people saying to you? Are you always saying, oh, you're not serious? Oh, you're not serious? And you're like, leave me alone. No, 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 no. It's important and it's serious. And I feel that's what happens to children that grow up in, you know, abusive environments where they're always telling you. And even though I wasn't interested, it was actually settling in my subconscious that, okay, this person looks good with you. Okay, it's been nice to get together with this person. Oh, this and that and that and that. And it was like they were building the foundations of, it was like they were laying the foundation of the building and then they started yielding and every time they said it they put another brick on it and every time they said it they put another brick on it and i was not wise enough to um actively not accept what they were saying so i just passively you know stop it i don't like it all this kind of stuff and i discovered that Along the line, the time had passed, and I noticed that oh my god, I intensely liked this person. I was weird because this was somebody I did not even notice in class, and now I like the person intensely. It was very serious. It was so, so serious that I think I was the only person I liked. So I left the school that was um, JSS2, JSS3, SS1, SS2, SS3. You know, so it was the common asteroid in. You know, in five years, I've spent my time, my precious time. Actually, you know, you know second school crushes that, oh God, we're going to those chronicles of second school. We were live in a world that is ruled by words. God said, let there be light, and there was light. The Bible says, declare a thing, and it will be. So, so we must be careful about what words we're allowing people to say into our lives. We must be careful about the tiny little things for God's sake. There are many people that they've teased about this and that and that, and it has yielded fruits. There are people that have gotten into relationships just because people said, Oh, guy, you guys look good together. Oh my god, you are the Bible study leader, and he's a choir master. Oh my god, you guys look good in the and all this cute stuff. And you get into a relationship and you realize that you actually got into it because words were just piled up in your head about it and it wasn't really you it wasn't really because deep down you wanted to be with this person but because everybody said it was good you got together with them and many other things that we do because people have said things there's this story my mom used to tell me and she keeps telling me <laughs> especially when you're getting obsessed over anything and she would tell me that there was this um wife of the minister and she would stand before the mirror was it every morning and look into the mirror and just admire herself and like that and like that and an evil spirit will actually come back like the evil spirit kept telling her things telling her things until she started telling her that and she was a white woman in style okay i mentioned that earlier that you're not supposed to be here you're supposed to be in the modeling industry you're supposed to be blah 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 there are some of us that people have glorified our bodies people have said passing words oh my god everybody said this and they're always saying always saying always saying and some way in your head you've not sat down to actually 
put these words to is this what God wants to do? Does God want me to use my body for his glory or does he want me to use it for something else? So we must be careful about what we allow. And it's what you hear, what you hear that fuels your mind and it fuels your heart. And the Bible says to guard our hearts above all things, for out of it are the issues of life. Now, if those words never actually settled in life subconscious, it's very possible that I'll go through secondary school not ever noticing him. We might have been friends, but noticing him, like to, be, to now be attracted to him and say, okay, I want to get together with this person. It might never have happened. So guys, remember, words matter. Don't say, well, she just insulted me. It doesn't matter. No, 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 no. The teacher tells you, oh, you're so dumb, you're so this. When you get back to your room, or right there where you're sitting, say, in the name of Jesus, I am the head and not the tail. Cross of me. Baby girl, just, you know, correct it. Call that egg. Anybody watching this? So, point of this video is just to, you know, remind you that words, both the ones that are intentionally spoken and the ones that are passing, are equally important and you must guard what words you allow to get into your life okay if there are people around you that keep saying degrading things about you leave them stay clear and renew your mind with the word of god so that your so yeah, your mind is filled with what god really says about you and what some person feels about you i hope you were blessed by this guys i will see you in my next video till then stay blessed keep loving jesus and share jesus to everybody you meet shout him out to everybody and just proclaim his love for those of you that don't know jesus jesus really 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 loves you and he's waiting for you to come to him he has been knocking on the door of your heart since time immemorial so he's waiting for you to you know accept his call you don't have to struggle you don't have to but you know fight and try hard to please god jesus is here to do that for you and after it comes into your heart it's going to be the holy spirit that's going to give you ease in serving god and living for god stay blessed guys this is excel vlogs 